Hello, I'm Cindy with Wisconsin Voices for Recovery, and this is Speak Out on Stigma. Today, we'll be hearing from Police Chief Brian Cheney from the Monona Police Department. Hi, Hello, Brian. Man. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you very much. And thanks for having me uh, take part in this. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. So tell me, when you hear the word stigma, what does it mean to you? You know, um, as a human being, as a person I haven't experienced, but also as a police officer and somebody who's been doing uh, this job for over two decades is um, really labeling and uh, putting a marker on somebody uh, for an experience that they're going through or an issue that they're trying to overcome. And stigmatizing an individual is like branding. Um, and it's uh, very, very difficult to overcome uh, when an individual is stigma is when a stigma is placed on on somebody. And so, you know, we work on that obviously in our profession too, uh, understanding and appreciating appreciating the impacts of of uh, stigmatizing. Um, but as well in my personal life, you know, as a as a person of color, as an openly gay man, um, and having you know labels placed on me that don't necessarily define who I am, for example, um, that's a barrier in which is is has been a life's challenge in some ways to overcome. And so as it relates to law enforcement and relates to stigma, particularly those who uh, are recovering from substance, so that is something that um, you know we're working to address within our profession. Great, thank you, thank you. Um, and, and tell me, what do you think makes people use stigmatizing language? You know, some of the challenges, uh, you know, upbringing and uh, being surrounded by uh, the language, uh, certainly, um, you know, being exposed to media and social media and uh, some of the things you hear and see uh, on television um, and uh, the interactions you may have with others who use that language um, all plays an impact. But, you know, you know, we, we struggle with that, too, uh, honestly, in law enforcement, because you know, when I started over 20 years ago, we were using certain language that, you know, was acceptable. And I still struggle today to just try to catch myself and um, stopping and appreciating and understanding um, how words matter. Yeah, good. Well said. Well said. Um, definitely, yeah, that language piece and the importance of catching it, you know, in yourself. And, and it's a process. It's a process to correct that language. Um, but awareness, self-awareness is is key. And it's the first step. Yep. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? I just appreciate that we're having conversations about this. <clears throat> I know that the healthcare industry, the educational field, uh, and many professions such as law enforcement uh, are really trying to better themselves uh, in order to help one another and to help people. And so um, I'm happy to take part in this conversation, very honored to, um, and I look forward to future discussions on this. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Brian, for sharing your views um, on stigma. Thank you to our viewers for watching. Speak Out on Stigma is a forum to raise awareness about the harmful impact of stigma on those in and seeking recovery. Uh, recovery is for everyone. Together, we can eliminate stigma. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Thank you, and have a great day.